everyone welcome back to my channel and for today's video i'm just gonna give you guys updates on my pitch my stretch marks cover up tattoo so it's been two weeks guys since i had that tattoo and i just want to show you guys and give you guys update on what happened you know like between the two weeks um so you guys saw me did that tattoo on my butt with jade with studio scalp and you guys saw me how oh my god how painful it was i know i was like laughing and crying at the same time but yes it was definitely painful super painful but you know it's nothing like you cannot bear it's something that you know like it's there the pain is there but it's something that you can you know like you can just tolerate it's 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 like that and i i still can say that my tummy tuck and my giving birth is more painful than the tattoo so if you guys are moms you know like you know how it felt like if you had that pain the contraction pain when you were giving birth that you know tattoo is nothing than that it is so bearable it is so tolerable and you know like you can deal with it so just in case you guys want to you know like you want to do something what i did you can bear it but this here's the thing here's the thing okay i just want to tell you guys after that day i did not get a bath well i did not shower that night but the next day i showered I didn't I couldn't get a bath I couldn't you know swim but who's gonna swim like in this season it's winter I don't I'm not gonna go swim well bath I love bath but not for that week and I still haven't gotten a bath actually but anyways well of course I showered but um yeah all the you know the care the not what is that not post op but it's a post procedure care I did everything I did not scrub that area I did not um what is this? I did not put any lotion. I did not put any numbing cream, no numbing sprays, nothing in there, but only Aquaphor. I wash my body with a very, very gentle um, soap. It's a liquid soap from Atomy. I'm going to be putting the link down for you guys below. But um, yeah, uh, what is this? I did not scrub it. I did not do anything on that area. So that was fine. Like the second day was fine. Oh my gosh, third day comes. So I did it on the 26th and then third day, like the second day, you know, like when it's starting to heal, like, oh my gosh, it was like, oh, so itchy, like super, super itchy. Like, I did not know what I was going to do. I like, like seriously, like I feel like, um, I would rather go get the tattoo all over again than itching and you cannot scratch it. You know, like when you get the tattoo, do not scratch it or you're going to make it bleed and then it's going to be ugly. And then, you know, the pigment that you put in there is going to be gone because you scratch it and it was bleeding and, you know, like all that. Because some people cannot just, you know, like stop itching and they would scratch and then they started bleeding. And I'm that person, you know, like when I scratch, I won't stop till I'm bleeding. But that time it was like such an agony. Oh my goodness. Like I was like... Like I was going crazy. I don't know what to do. I wanted to rub it. Like I tried to rub it like very, very gentle. Like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, like just to try to soothe it a little bit, but it does not work that much. And I was like almost like crying because it was so itchy and oh my gosh, the itch is unbearable, unbearable. Like I can bear the pain. I cannot bear the itch, but Okay, so I started reading and, you know, like that other people would say or will tell you or, you know, just other people, what would, what would you do if you start itching? Because you cannot scratch that because you paid for that, you know, like you paid so much money and then you'll scratch it and then, you know, the pigment is going to be gone. So you, you don't want that to happen. But um, what I saw was you got to slap it a little bit or tap it. But, you know, like tapping it a little bit is not going to work. So what I did was like tap it like, oh my gosh, like, like I was like just hitting it so hard because it was so itchy but I did not make it you know like to like tap it like to bleed so that was you know like that was awesome and the thing is so I was tapping and my hair started started to turn red and it hurts you know like when you tap yourself and it just hurts you know it hurts your hands so what I did was get a ladle and then start you know like slapping my stuff with the ladle because I don't have anything else like and not I don't have any you know like anything that is flat that I can tap my my skin with so I start tapping wherever it's itching and 
that was a relief. Oh my gosh. Um, that was good, you know, like at least I'm not scratching it. I'm not scratching it to bleed. So it's just kind of like hot in there, but I would rather have that, the heat, you know, from tapping or slapping your skin than scratching it to bleed. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys another footage of like first few days, how it looks like. So this is the first day or after 24 hours of having that um, tattoo or the stretch marks cover up. It's kind of like swelling over here still, just a little bit though, but it doesn't hurt at all. See so guys, it's all red, but it doesn't hurt at all. I can touch it, you know, like doesn't feel like anything. It's just a little bit red. I know the swelling is gonna go away. You know, like it's still swelling, it's a little tender, but you know, like nothing that I am, you know, like worrying about or you know, like in pain, nothing like that. So yeah, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is the second day after getting my after getting my stretch marks cover up. This is the side. If you guys can see that, it has gotten like a little bit darker now. So I think it's, you know, like going to like dry. It's drying now or it has settled down a little bit. So yeah, that's the right side. This is the back. Please guys, don't judge me with my underwear choice because I'm a mommy and I just like, you know, like something comfortable. So yeah, and I, I got it from Walmart. But anyways, um, I just wanna show you guys how it looks like on my behind. So that'd be good. Let me try to make it a little bit closer for you guys. So you have an idea how it looks like. So I hope you guys can see that clearly. So yeah, that's how it looks like on the back. On my left side. The front. You guys can see it clearly. So yeah. I'm gonna lift this a little bit so you guys can see like my butt cheeks right there so yeah i think it's okay now i can touch it i still put on um, that app before so you know like it heal faster and it'll dry better and you know like it's still like um like a cover for that you know like a moisture cover or yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I have to put that aquaphor there so it'll heal faster. Now that it's been two weeks, I just want to show you guys how it looks like. It's a lot, lot better. It's dried out and some, you know, like I'm, I've been seeing some peeling on some areas and I'm not trying to peel it. I'm still not scrubbing my area. I'm still not putting any lotion or any other oil in my area but the aquaphor, which I was um, told to do. So that's what I've been doing. And um, I just, I just, you know, like, I feel like a little itch in there, but it's not like itching on the first week. Oh my gosh. But this time it was like really good and it's healing and I'm seeing it. And you know, like they, I thought it's going to be like scabbing like bad, but it wasn't. It was like kind of like when you um, try to do that, some peel, what is that? Like acid peel. And then, you know, like, little by little you see your skin peeling a little bit so it's like that it's very gentle it's peeling you know like slowly but um but it's really good you know what i'm saying so i just want to show you guys how it looks like so yeah i'm just telling you guys this is the another time that i'm going to be showing my body and after this video i mean after this um whole process and then i'm not doing anything anymore but um yeah okay so this is how it looks like now some of this are peeling already so I am glad it's you know like it come to heal already so I don't know if you guys can see that there's like stuff over here that is peeling I'm not trying to pull them out or pull them off so I'm just gonna leave it and let it be if it's gonna fall off it's you know it's gonna fall off and so yeah that's how it looks like on this side. And then this is my left side. It's starting to peel too. 
So I don't know if you guys can, can really see that. But um, yeah, I am expecting it to be gone around like the 60th day. And I'm still putting that aqua for there. And yeah, I'm just hoping that it'll go really go away sooner than 60 days. But um, yeah, it, it's kind of like, it's, it's really dry. I don't feel like any pain or any itch anymore. I can just slap it, but you know, it doesn't feel anything. I mean, you know, I felt, felt it, but what I'm saying is I don't feel any pain anymore. I didn't scratch it. I didn't soap it with harsh soap or any other soap. I just put, you know, like gentle, um, gentle soap and I just, you know, like kind of like rub it a little bit like that and then that's it. So yeah, this is how it looks like guys. I'm super happy. Yeah, so. Okay, so yeah, that's how my bum looks like now. It is totally healing, it's totally peeling, but like I said, I'm not trying to pull it. I'm not trying to pull those scabs or those, you know, little stuff that is coming off of my skin. I'm not trying to do anything with that. I don't scrub it. And I'm still, you know, like I'm um, using a very, very gentle soap, which is Atomy. And I am also putting the Aquaphor after. And it's like, I, got, I put it like at least, you know, like once a day, I'm supposed to do it like twice a day, but sometimes it doesn't feel good when you put your pants on and then sometimes you put your pants on and it goes through, you know, like you don't want the, you don't want those oily patches on your bum. But um, yeah, so that's the update for my stretch marks cover up tattoo and so I'm just gonna give you guys another updates after two weeks and if you guys want to know where I go or where I went and who did it I'm gonna be putting the link on my description box and if you guys are here in Arizona her name is Jade Hernandez she she owns and operates the studio scalp here in Arizona she she is located in Gilbert and I'm gonna be putting all the information on the description box and I'm gonna be putting her Instagram over there too if you guys have Instagram follow her follow me on Instagram I'm gonna be putting all the link on the description box if you guys have any questions let me know on the um, Instagram or on the comments down below. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon on my next one. Bye.